In this video, we'll create a door open animation and we'll use the key press function to open the door. Now let's animate this door. So let's select the door package and get in here. So here we can select the door itself or the frame. So we're gonna select the door, press F key to focus on it. And then we're gonna create a cube. Okay. And we can make it smaller. And place it to the side. Like here. So we want it to be on the side of the door. Okay. Uh, the reason we're going to do it is because later on we're going to animate this cube. Uh, let it rotate and then we can parent the door under this cube so the door is going to follow this cube to rotate. And then we'll go to assets folder and uh, create a new folder. I want to name it to animation or enemy for short um, and go into this folder and then select the cube we just created and go to the animation tab. If you don't see this tab just click on here and add the tab, add the animation tab. Alright, so make sure the cube is selected. And here we're going to create an animation. And for this animation, we're going to name it to um, door open. So caps lock D, caps lock O, because later on we're going to use the script to reference this animation. Okay, and then here as you can see, the time is at uh, zero frame, so it's uh, at the beginning. And then we can click on this button to record the animation. And uh, we can go to a different time. Let's see, let's try one second. Okay. And we can go to the Y axis here, put your cursor on it. And when you rotate, you can change the degree. Okay. So let's see, for door open animation, maybe I'm going to do 85. Okay, so 85. So whenever we trigger the door open, you're going to play this door open animation. Okay, and then we can go back here. And if you select the cube, and uh, you should see that by default it already created the animator um, par um, a tab for us, and it already applied the animation controller to it. And inside of this animation controller, if you double click on open. Um, it already applied this door open animation to the animation controller. As I explained earlier, the animation controller is like uh, a player. It plays the different clips you created. So now this door open is a clip. Okay. Uh, however, we don't want it to play by default. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is right click and create a new state, create an empty state. So this state it doesn't have anything in it and I want to right click on it and set it as the default state so whenever the game is awake um, it will uh, it will not play anything because it's set as the default state and there's no animation in it and as we apply the script and when it is on call you're gonna switch to the door open animation okay and also select like this the door open animation we want to uncheck the loop uh, it's not here so we can just select like this one uh, inside of the folder and check off loop time so it'll only be opened one time all right and then we can go back to the scene and here let's try drop the cube into the door um, and uh, we want to parent this door to the cube not the frame the door itself if you drag it onto it you will see cannot restructure the prefab so you can just click on cancel so basically here, we can right click on it, on the door pack, and we can go to the prefab and unpack it. Uh, because it was a prefab, it has the prefab structure, so that's why I couldn't parent objects. So now, as I unpack it, I will be able to parent uh, the door to the cube. So now if the cube rotates, the door is going to follow, okay? Now let's select the cube and turn off mesh render so it is transparent and we will not be able to see it and select the door group press f key to focus it and let's create a new cube so for this cube we're going to say trigger door 
open. Okay, so we know what this trigger is for. And we can make it bigger. Okay, so whenever our player walked into this area, uh, we'll have a function. Okay, um, let's turn off mesh render as well and check on its trigger. Okay, and let's import a script. Press key open door. So I'll go to the script folder and drop in this script. All right, and then um, here I'm going to create a canvas instruction page. So I'll go to top menu, um, UI, text, and here I'm going to say instruction instruction four because remember we already created three in the first scene okay so this will be instruction four and you can double click uh, um, and press F key to focus on it so we can zoom in and this is how it looks okay so we're going to center it definitely so place it in the center and here for the text box, I'll say press E to open door. And I uh, think I'm going to scale it up a little bit and then center it. And I'll change the font size to 20 and I'm going to change the color to white. Okay. So now we have the instruction and we have the trigger for door open and we're going to apply the script to it. So here add a component and we'll see press key open door script. So that is the script we just um, applied. So here for the instruction, you're going to drop the instruction for to it. Okay. Um, enemy object so that will be the door itself so that uh, we're going to select the cube okay and drop it here so um, let's rename this cube so it could be easier for us to find later so we can just see door and the other one we're gonna see door frame okay so it could be easier for us to organize the file and this mesh we're gonna see door mesh All right and then let's go to the first person controller and make sure uh, the tag we tag it as a player so now let's uh, give it a test so now if I walk in the scene as you can see the door is closed if I enter the trigger and press EK I can open it okay And as you can see, the instructions are still stay on the screen and also we can pan straight in through this door. Okay, so we need to first add mesh collider. Second, we need to hide the instruction after we open the door. Okay, so here we're going to go to the door mesh and uh, add a component and we can add a mesh collider, All right? And then uh, we can open this script. So this is the function of the script. So first we declare two objects, the instruction and the enemy object, which is the door itself, right? And we created a Boolean. Uh, it has two status, true and false. So in the beginning, uh, the instruction will be false, so it will be hidden. And whenever a object tagged as a player entered this trigger, you're going to show the instruction. Uh, like press EK to open the door. It's going to change the status to true, the action status we created is changed to true. If we walk out of this uh, trigger, uh, it will turn off the instruction and also change the action status as false. And if you are in the collider, if the action is true right here, and then at the same time, if you press a down key, which is EK, you're going to process this function, which going to um, turn off the instruction and play the animation door open animation so you're going to grab the objects component animator component 
and play the door open animation. So you're going to uh, grab these objects, um, animator component, and play that animation clip. Okay, and it will reset the action back to false. All right. So now we have to add a few things here. First, we're going to deactivate the trigger after we've done this sequence, right? So here we're going to add one line here. Uh, see this trigger. And let's see. So at the end, as we have press EK, um, trigger the event to happen, we want um, this trigger to be deactivated so we are not to be able to see the instruction more times after we open the door All right and also here I want to add a um, door open sound object door open sound And here I want to add one more object. So I'm going to copy this part. I'm going to add a audio source. And for the name, I'm going to uh, put door open sound. Uh, so we want to play the door open sound when the door is open. Uh, and I'm going to post here door open sound dot play. Okay, and then um, save this script. All right, so now we can go to um, sound effects and drop in the door open sound. Okay, and here we're going to start the door. Press F key to focus and right click. Uh, here we can create an empty object. So I'm going to say door open sound facts. And on this object, I'm going to add a audio source and drop these uh, sound effects into the audio clip. Okay, so it's going to play the sound. And by default, it's a huge thing. Yes, it's huge. And we can Changes range to about maybe 15, okay, and change it to a 3D sound and change it to a manner drop, okay. 15 still can be a little bit loud, so we can do 10, okay. And make sure uh, you check off the play on wake so the sound will not play by default. Once the player opens the door, you're gonna play. Right? And uh, we'll drop this door open sound effects into the door group. And then select the trigger. And for the script, now it has updated these two objects. So for this trigger, it will be the trigger itself. And door open sound will be the door open sound effects. And let's save, and let's test. Now if I step in front of the door, it'll say press E to open, okay? And then I can enter, but I cannot get into it because the character is a little bit too large, okay? So let me show you how we can change it. So if you go to the first person controller, and here is its height. So it's 1.8 meter height and 0.5 which is the width so instead of uh, 5 we can do 0.3 so now you can see that and make the character thinner right so now we should be able to enter it Oops. yep so no problem and another issue is as you can see if I get closer too close to the wall I can see through it so that is uh, if you select the first person controller, um, actually select the camera, okay, the camera, and this is the camera setting. Um, so it could only see object which is farther than 0.3 unit. Okay, so if you lower this down, if I say 0.05, so it'll see object which is closer to the camera, so you will not be able to see through the wall, right? 
Then we can simply、uh, bring this trigger door open into here, into this door group, right? And we can make a duplications and place it to other places, so we can use it for other door.、Uh, here's one, and we can duplicate one place it on this side, and. Here we can rotate it in 180 degree, so you can type it here. So you're going to flip it, and make sure to fill the gap. Push it in. Okay. So I'm going to、uh, follow this process to put the door on all of the gaps here. So now I have filled the door into all of the gaps, okay. And、uh, the only one I left is the front door because I'm going to use a different door with a different、uh, script, okay.、Uh, and another thing is, as you can see, now the player is getting really close to the first door,、uh, so you can select the first-person controller and move it a little bit away. From the door, so it will not be triggered by default.、Um, so now let's have a small test. When I load the scene, all the door is here, and if I walk in one of the door, I can open it. Second door, open it, and one more door, one more, and yep. In the next video, we'll add jump scares.